Hi, I'm Ashley, the Monogram Mompreneur. Welcome to my channel if you're new here. In today's video, we're gonna be sublimating some ornaments with photos and some cute handwriting. Um, I had my kids write their names on a piece of paper and um, it's such a precious little keepsake to add to the ornament. So here you see I had a white piece of paper. I let them use a Sharpie and write their name and I'm going into Canva. Um, I have a Canva Pro account, so I have the background eraser tool. So what I did was I imported the picture, um, I just took it with my phone and emailed it to myself, and I'm just cropping some of the noise out. Um, my daughter had to write her name a few times. She did such a good job though. And so I'm just hitting the background eraser tool, and voila, you have a beautiful um, handwritten name. Isn't that cool that you could do that with Canva? So um, I will put a link for Canva below. Um, I love the background eraser tool. We use it all the time. So here I'm doing my son's name. Again, I'm just cropping out some of the noise around um, what I wanna focus on. And I'm just hitting the background eraser tool. And there you go, we have the names done and I'm, I'm gonna save them as a PNG. Um, that way when we import it, um, it's nice and has a transparent background. To design the ornaments, I'm going to be using the free software that came with my Sawgrass printer called Creative Studio, and they have so many templates to choose from. So I'm just searching for the 2.75 um, diameter ornament, which they have in their list, and that way I can make sure my margins are good, that there's no guesswork on how big the circle should be or how big the overflow should be. So I'm just grabbing that template and I'm importing my picture. And I'm just gonna stretch the picture to make sure it fits in the, um, I guess we'll call them overflow lines. Um, you wanna have some margin around because you don't want it to be exactly as big, like 2.75 inches diameter, um, cause then you'll have some mess up or some white space. So you always wanna have some overflow. So now I have the picture where I want it. I'm gonna import that PNG um, handwritten name. Um, it just makes it so precious to remember how they wrote their name. Um, this particular year, so I'm just shrinking it to the size I want. Um, you can change the colors, um, but I chose to just keep it black. Um, and then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna add the year um, with a font. So all you have to do is go and um, pick a font that you like, and we're gonna type in 2021. And we're just gonna shrink that down to the size we want. And pick our font. And there we go. We have our personalized ornament um, ready to be printed. So next what we're gonna do is we are going to go and hit print. And we're gonna make sure that we pick uh, that it'll be mirrored. We're picking our metal substrate. Uh, we're picking the correct paper size. I'm going to print everything on an eight and a half by 11 paper on my text print R paper and photographic. So you just want to make sure um, all the little boxes are checked of what you want it specifically to print. And then it'll print it um, in the queue, which means you could add multiple ornaments to a page, which is really neat. Um, and you don't have to waste a bunch of paper. So here you can see I've printed them out and I kind of cut around this one. How cute. So this is just, I fit four on an eight and a half by 11 page. Um, and so I'm going to be using my Heat Press Nation Pink Craft Pro Heat Press. Um, some special heat tape, some butcher paper I got from Sam's Club, and my Sawgrass SG-1000 sublimation printer. And then I have these um, Unisub 2.75 inch diameter um, sublimation ornaments, they are one-sided, meaning you can sublimate on the white side. And um, here you can see I was doing some practice runs. So what I'm gonna do is I've already cut and trimmed my paper. I'm just making sure there's no lint or debris on my ornament. And I'm just placing the paper um, so I can place the right side of the ornament down or the, the white side down and I'm just finding the perfect placement, trying to find my lettering and line up and making sure everything is straight. 
and then I'm gonna take some special heat tape. Um, again, this is from Heat Press Nation. You don't wanna use regular tape. It will definitely melt. Um, this is made for heat pressing. And I'm just gonna put some tape on the top and the bottom, just to make sure it's nice and secure. And so that's how it looks. And we'll go ahead and finish the rest of them. So I'm just gonna cut and trim um, my paper just so I can get a better idea of sizing. So now that it's trimmed, I'm just taking my ornament white side down or right side down, placing it um, on my piece of paper, making sure to tape both top and bottom. And I'm gonna do the same thing again, making sure there's no lint or debris on my ornament. And then I'm just placing it white side or right side down and I'm taping it and then we're gonna turn it over. So you notice I have parchment paper underneath because there's gonna be some bleed through and I'm turning it over um, and then I'm gonna add a piece of parchment paper on top. You really wanna protect your machine while you're doing um, things with a little bit of run over. So I'm just gonna add this parchment paper on top and we have my machine set at 400 degrees for 75 seconds. At medium pressure, so I'm just gonna go ahead and clamp it down. Again, this heat press is the Craft Pro Pink 15 by 15 heat press from Heat Press Nation. I love this thing. And so I'm just gonna set it for 75 seconds. All right, so it is done. I'm just gonna lift up and remove the parchment paper, um, being very careful. Um, those are gonna be super hot, so you'll wanna be careful not to burn your fingers. And I'm just gonna lay them out to cool a little bit. Um, you can see there was definitely some bleed through to the parchment paper um, from the overflow. That's why it's so important to have that down there. Um, so I'm just gently using that um, square part of the paper, not touching the actual ornament, and placing them on my other piece of parchment paper I have with um, some other ornaments cooling on the floor. So look at that. That's um, the overflow. Okay, so here we have our ornament and I'm just gonna peel gently. The heat press tape is nice and cool. These aren't hot anymore. And we're just gonna pull the tape off. Oh my gosh, guys. Look how gorgeous that is. So bright and vivid. I honestly get blown away every time I do sublimation. So we're just pulling the tape off. Look at that. What a great gift this is. Um, I could see you using not only the photographs, but adding personalization, whether it be writing the name or adding names to it. It's such a fun gift. Um, it really shows you really cared. Um, so I am in love with these. And we're gonna do the same thing here. We're just gonna pull off um, the ornament, um, just getting that tape off. Oh my gosh, look how precious my little buddy is. Sorry guys, I get so excited. I know y'all don't get to see them that much, but look at that. So the photograph is amazing. I just took these pictures on my phone, by the way. It's not any professional photos. They just print amazing on the Sawgrass printer. Um, what a cute ornament. Now they do have double-sided ornaments, um, but I just chose to get those. and. I think they turned out so good. I made a ton of ornaments um, today for friends and family, and I think it's gonna be such a cute, um, you could add them to um, bag tags or just as a special gift with a gift card or the, the possibilities are endless of what you could do with these ornaments. So that is it for today's video. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and keep working on these ornaments. I did a ton of ornaments, I think I did all 12, I think. Oh, look at this cute little puppy. So cute. Puppy's first Christmas. Um, so I will link everything I used today in the description box below. Um, most of everything was from Heat Press Nation. I love Heat Press Nation. Their shipping is so quick. So make sure you check out the links below and make sure you hit subscribe. We would love to have you here. I've got lots of sublimation um, and embroidery tutorials. Look at that, I did a little picture one um, for our family. 
So have you ever tried sublimation ornaments? Let me know in the links below. Um, they were actually pretty easy to do for my first, this is my first time ever sublimating ornaments and I found it super easy to do once you especially use that template in Sawgrass Creative Studio. And so I'm just using the little ribbons that came with um, the sublimation ornaments and I'm just tying a cute little knot at the top and finishing these ornaments off. Look how adorable. So I'm just gonna finish all of these ornaments off. Um, you could add even like a more intricate topper. I've seen a lot of people use beads, um, but this is just what came with the ornaments. So from my family to yours, I wanna wish you a very Merry Christmas. I can't thank you guys enough for joining me and subscribing to our channel. Um, we really appreciate every single one of you. So Merry Christmas, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.